Temple Tough, Behind the Scenes with Temple Football is presented by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Last time on Temple Tough. Deuce, deuce, Trojan, Trojan, left hash, get up against that, we're on the clock. Bash punch, truck, hammer hook, let's go pipe. Off and on, good, that's it. The Owls wide receivers look to grow in their dual roles of outside blockers and downfield pass catchers. Make sure as you're running out of this thing, you don't run yourself out of bounds. So as I get to right here, that was a good route, big stride, step on it, as I get to right here, start to slow down a little bit. The greatest comeback and Temple football history will happen today, and you guys will have a chance to be the author of that story. Temple's valiant comeback effort fell just short against the Maryland Terrapins in an intense week two game at Lincoln Financial Field. And the Cherry and White return to Edberg Olsen Hall for an extra week of preparation for a matchup with the Penn State Nittany Lions in Happy Valley. It's nine days away from Temple's first road test of 2012. And to prepare for what will be a deafening atmosphere, the Owls coaching staff has made practice at Chodoff Field sound a little different. <laughs> Playing in front of 100,000 hostile fans can rattle even the most experienced players. Temple will travel a young team to Beaver Stadium, and the younger the team, the more susceptible to making mistakes with your silent cadence. We know it's going to be 100,000 people in the stands, loud. You know, you can't anything, so we're working on uh, hand signals, you know, just uh, feeling that crowd noise, hearing that crowd noise. So it's helping. It's beneficial. Uh, we just got to be prepared for the, uh, for the noise. I mean, we're not going to be able to hear uh, Chris when he ch makes his checks. It's going to be difficult, so we need to... Now get ready for that now so it doesn't shock us when we get there. What we hope for is that we're playing well in defense and the crowd isn't into it, you know, and obviously the crowd can play a real role offensively in terms of communication. Not so much the issue defensively. And if we're playing well, then you might get a subdued crowd, you know, so it can work both ways. In college football, a team's buy is a multi-purpose seven days. The extra time is used for added preparation, but it's every bit as valuable as a week to rest and recover from the nagging injuries that tend to pile up in the first few weeks of the season. The bye week's always a good thing. Just using the bye week to get better, you know, better prepared for our next opponent. So we still practice hard every day, but you know, just knowing that it's not a game on the weekend, you get just that little extra time to relax and get ready for the next week. As the final few days before the journey to Penn State wind down, things get busier at 10th and Diamond. But before the Owls can don their cherry and white on game day, one of Temple staff members works to prepare their gear in advance of the road trip. All the travel guys in yet? Are they all the travel guys? Are they in from the field? I believe, yeah. No one's out there. Only, uh... Some guys had a left. I don't know. So they're not travel. travel. Are they coming in from the field? Yeah. Paul Kelly has served as Temple's athletic equipment supervisor for 13 seasons, but he's worked with the football team for 22 years. 
in the time he was a student on main campus. It's second nature to me, you know, this is my 22nd season at Temple. Uh, after our Thursday practice, all of our uh, players, they have an equipment bag, they pack up their helmet, shoulder pads, thigh pads, knee pads. We grab the bags, we have a checklist to run down, um, we load it with their game shoes, their game gloves, their game garments, and then in separate chunks we pack game jerseys, uh, game pants, getting the logistics laid out of where we're going, how we're going to lay the locker room out, uh, just to make um, everything uh, as convenient as possible. Uh, when the team, they come in, they go come into the locker room and everything's laid out for them to get changed and go about their business to win the game. It's Thursday, just two days before the kickoff at Beaver Stadium. This day will be Kelly's busiest because shortly after practice ends, he and his team of student managers begin to prepare the Owls' equipment. Yeah, consider this case closed. From jerseys and helmets to intercoms and industrial fans, all to be loaded on the truck for the trek across Pennsylvania. I have a crew of uh, student managers uh, who actually execute all the, the, the leg work, you know, the, the plan, I set the plan, and you know, they're, they're going to the cubby, they're grabbing the game items, taking it to the bag, zipping it. These are the cubbies, this is where we keep all their game stuff, so we put like, they, we have their uh, game loop, which has on the girdle, shirt, and socks. We have game shoes, which we keep back here, and game gloves. And that's pretty much what all these are. Once the thousands of pounds of equipment are loaded, the day comes to an end, but there's little rest to be had because tomorrow will be an early morning. It's 8 a.m. at Edberg Olson Hall, and it's time for the equipment to get on the road and make the three and a half hour trip to Happy Valley. I just love college football, and uh, to, to be a part of a program, uh, just to be a part of helping the process. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy the uh, watching the results. You know, obviously, you know, wins are great, but just to see guys, kids that work for me, the student athletes, just grow up, mature, become men, and just to enjoy everyone's company and, and camaraderie. Um, it, it's, uh, it's very enjoyable. With just over 24 hours before kickoff, the campus of Penn State University is a buzz. The Nittany Lions have one of the proudest football fan bases in the country. And though a new year has ushered in a whole new era of Penn State football, Beaver Stadium remains one of the loudest and toughest places to play in the nation. But despite being on the short end of the series, the Owls have gone blow for blow with the Nittany Lions in the last several years, making this year's matchup one of the most anticipated in the interstate rivalry. The wait comes to an end and game day arrives. Fans begin their tailgates early and for the first time, Beaver Stadium will be dressed in blue. Though the skies may be gray, it's a blue out for the Temple game. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better, honest. Attention Philadelphia football fans and Temple alumni. It's the Temple homecoming game, so get your tickets now. Temple football is your ticket for the best BCS football action in the Delaware Valley. Don't miss homecoming 2012 when the Temple Owls take on South Florida for the first Big East Conference game of the season Saturday, October 6th at Lincoln Financial Field. Bring your family and friends and enjoy the Temple homecoming game festivities. It's Temple versus South Florida on Saturday, October 6th. Get your tickets now at owlsticks.com. Big East football is Temple made. With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. 
What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. It's just moments from the opening kick of one of the most anticipated games on Temple's schedule. And following warm-ups on the field, the Owls re-enter the locker room for their final preparations and pre-game rituals. Know what you gotta do. One play at a time, guys. 68 versus 100,000. I like those odds, because I'm on the right side. And so are you. You already know. Woo. Turn up. I want you to feel the passion of the stadium. I want the passion in the stadium to infuse you. I want you to use that energy to play at your best. There ain't one person thinks we can win that game, but we know right here in this room, we will win that football game. And we're gonna do it as a team. We're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it with great temple pride. We're gonna do it with strong will, man, like a team. And we're gonna come in this locker room and we're gonna celebrate. And we're gonna celebrate the birth of a football team, man. Today from Beaver Stadium on the campus of Penn State University, it's the Owls against the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Temple's first possession puts their week of preparation into immediate practice. But no matter how much you might simulate the noise, you won't know what it's like until you're in it. They're going to go for it here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and five Dude, at the 41-yard line. Short drop, pumps, fakes, throws, and he's oh, the receiver. Geez. It's Robinson, touchdown. and he's gone in for the touchdown. 41 yards on fourth and five, and Penn State is on the board first. Here's Coyer in the gun at the 20-yard line. Boyle's snap, and Coyer will keep after the fake. Coyer gets up field, 30, tripped up, still on his feet, 40. And first quarter, a big run out to the 41-yard line. Third down and four. The ball is at the seven. They need to get to the three for the first down. Fitzpatrick starts in motion one way and comes back. Coyer rolling to his left. Coyer under oh, pressure, and, and he is stacked all the way back at the 20-yard line. Instead, it'll be a field goal try for Brendan McManus. This will be a 33-yard try. Here's the placement, and the kick is away. And McManus's kick is perfect. It's Penn State 7 and Temple 3, second and goal at the 12-yard line. Shotgun for McGloin and Zordich to his right. Here's a short drop. McGloin looks, looks, throws, and over the middle. It's picked off by Temple. The Owls have come up with a turnover at the 10-yard line. Big play, and Young comes up with the interception for the Owls. Now the sun is out. First down and goal with 47 seconds left. McGloin awaits the snap, and he will take it himself and be hit. And down oh, the end zone. They had him. In for the touchdown. Penn State striking in the final minute here of the first half. Penn State leads 14-3. We got two quarters of football to play. That's what it is. Told you this was the game. We prepared for this game. This is no surprise. This is no shock. This team's got to rise up. We got to come out in the second half. We've got to make the plays that are available to be made. It's two quarters. Two teams bowing up. Who's going to tap out? He's got receivers, two of them to each side. McGloin back, has time over the middle again. It's uh -oh. caught at the 40-35, first down. Second and goal, they spotted at the two-yard line. Here's McGloin. Here's the keeper by McGloin, diving toward the goal line. But yeah, he's in. They're indicating a touchdown for McGloin. 21-3 Penn State. 
on second and goal at the one. Cody Booth on a wing to the right. Coyer takes the snap, rolling right, shovels it back. Matt Brown, he's bumped, he dives, and he's in for the touchdown. Too little too late for the Owls. That'll do it. 24-13, Penn State. Obviously, uh, Penn State played better than we did today. Thought that uh, we had our opportunities in that game. Um, we had our opportunities to make some plays that we didn't make. Let's go, we got a great day today. Little Indian right in the first and second down versus the offense. Ask Adazio is presented by Phillies Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Coach Adazio, this is Andy Lisinski from Perkins Pennsylvania. Graduate, 1979, Temple University. I know you're a tremendous motivator. What makes you a successful motivator? What motivates us to be successful is the sheer competition of football. The ability to watch a group of young men, coaches, university, all align together and experience success from their hard, hard work. Ask Adagio has been brought to you by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. Dean is a unique attorney because he gets what people are going through. He has a way of making you feel like, I know what I'm doing and everything is going to be all right. He is human. He's just not this man in a suit who says, oh, I'm going to be your lawyer and that's the end of it. Well, he was always going to be right there by our side. I'm Dean Weitzman of My Philly Lawyer. We fight for people who can't fight for themselves. My Philly Lawyer, when winning matters most. In the Huddle is presented by My Philly Lawyer. Go get two first downs. Change the field position. You let that combination off, you gotta go. Left up slot, freeze. Rock, rock, under orange, under orange. Ready? 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 It's back to work for the Owls, who try to correct the issues they had against the Nittany Lions. The second half wasn't kind to Temple's defensive line, which struggled to get pressure on Penn State's Matt McGloin. Okay, let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Sean Cronin is the man in charge of the down lineman, and he's using today's practice to get back to proper technique. All right, you you kind of did too early, so he hadn't really you hadn't really pushed him with speed. So he hadn't really set all the way out to you. And then you were like pulling him over. Competing, losers got three up downs. Compete. D lineman go deaf, just key that ball. I don't see any up downs. I don't see any up downs going on. Your Bodie's standing there. I'm gonna push him to the cone. When he shuffles over, come here, Bodie. To meet me, I'm gonna rush all that grass right there. You understand? Don't run into a wall. That's the whole point of the drill. Set him up, go opposite, here go. Older guys, one more time, and let's move on. Here we go. Set. Good. Try to pick up. Good. Good. Here we go. Good. 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 Hurry up. Somebody be up, up here. Matt, all you got to do is wherever he goes, if he goes right, you shuffle in front of him. Just mirror him. Mirror him. That's the, hence the title of the drill. Mirror. Dodge. Right? Here we go. Right? There you go. If the thing's coming at you, don't knock it down, okay? You're just going to redirect the cut into your shins instead of your knee. Knock it back. You understand? Stop the charge. The bag should come back towards me, not underneath you. Here we go. Set. There you go. That's how you do it right there. Good. You're telegraphing. You run at a guy this far from three yards away, he's going to pull his hands back, right? Make sure you get, get close to get away. Keep them tight, keep them tight. Boom, right there. 
There you go. Good, good. Now when you got them on skates like that, just keep running them. What the worst thing you want to do when you're really bull rushing a guy like that is get separation. Sideline, let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Marty, you're gonna have to go against us right now. Hey, Marty, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go against us right now. Okay. I apologize for what's about to happen in your practice. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. In the Huddle has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. Solid play up front makes the job of guys like Vaughn Caraway that much easier. Caraway is a senior safety on the Owls who didn't take long to establish his presence on the field this season. Here's a brush. Maloney reads it, now throws long down the middle of the field, and White has it picked off. Callaway, midfield, down the sidelines, 30, 25, 15, 5, touchdown! Caraway's nose for the ball is a trait that every safety wants, but that's something that comes with time and the development of the instinct it takes to be the last line of defense. I don't try to make every single play. I try to make the plays that are available to me. You can't make every play, so I just look, look, look at it as an opportunity. So when, when a play comes my way, I just try to take advantage of it, either just try to get the defense to the next down, just so we have a chance to get, uh, just get defense, keep the defense on the field. We expect him to play well, and we need to keep developing him, but he's done some really good things early, first couple games. Well, he needs to keep understanding the game, anticipating situations, you know. Um, and uh, the smarter you are about the game and about plays and situations, the faster you can play. Getting better is a fight. And if you see Caraway on the field, you'll take notice of a patch on his jersey that proclaims, Fight On. A reminder for him that every play is a challenge and an opportunity to get better. It's a constant reminder of just coming into, coming into the game. Every play is going to be a fight, even if we're down, down by 20. We're going, we're going to keep on, keep on fighting to the end of the game. Now starting our BW of Langhorn, the all-new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at BW of Langhorn. The most class in its class with dual-zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. BW of Langhorn on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. The human body is a marvel of intertwined parts. Wouldn't it be nice if your family doctors and specialists were as perfectly connected? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for your back-to-school needs. Opening day is about to kick off, and our selection is a big hit. Our prices are too good to pass up, so get to Kelly Sports and score big. We have all the latest styles from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. And we also carry Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts uniforms, as well as a large selection of athletic footwear. Kelly Sports, located at Route 202 and Matlack Street in Westchester. The Temple Tough Top Play is presented by Kelly Sports. Here's a short drop. McGloin looks, looks, throws, and over the middle. It's picked off by Temple. The Owls have come up with a turnover at the 10-yard line. Big play, and Tavon Young comes up with the interception for the Owls. Just when it looked like Penn State was going to build on its 7-3 lead, Tavon Young comes up with a major pick. The Temple Tough Top Play has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. Early in the season, Temple sits at just one and two. But with plenty of time to turn it around, the Owls must keep their attention on the next opponent. Temple has a second bye week, and this extra time is reserved for preparation for conference play. The long wait is almost over, and the return to the Big East is on the horizon. The Owls will host the South Florida Bulls in their homecoming game.
And though they are aware of the added challenge that playing at a bigger conference brings, this is exactly what they've worked so hard for. You know, we just want to get a win. Really, that's what it is. Um, you know, it is the start of conference play. We want to be 1-0 in the conference, but we just want to go get a win. We want to go play hard and get a win. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. Glansman Subaru is Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer. Check out Glansman Subaru for savings on your Subaru, and you'll be sure to drive off in the Subaru that is right for you. With a knowledgeable, no-pressure sales staff committed to 100% customer satisfaction and excellent financing on your Subaru, it's no wonder Glansman Subaru has been Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer for almost 40 years. Check out our entire inventory at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru. Route 611 Jenkintown. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body makes complicated maneuvers look deceptively simple. Wouldn't it be nice if your health insurance did too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. I'm Fran Dunphy, head men's basketball coach, Temple University. It's not so easy to eat healthy all the time, especially if you're always on the go. For our student athletes, it's very important to keep their bodies fueled properly with the right balance of food. This is especially true when you're involved in an exercise program. For more great health tips like this, visit the IBX Healthy Steps website. On the next episode of Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple football. The Owls look to rebound from back-to-back -back defeats. It's homecoming on Temple's campus, a school-wide celebration of everything it means to be a Temple Owl. And it's the official return to the Big East Conference with Temple's first game against the University of South Florida. Temple Tough. Behind the Scenes with Temple Football has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.